Hey YouTube! So USC is asking for a ton, from brevity to longer detailed narratives, and I will get to it all. Stick around. Thank you for joining me on my channel. For the best college essay advice, subscribe and hit the bell. From tweets to hashtags to full-on essays, USC is asking for it all, and I have a couple of students actually already there right now. So stick around and I'll share the tricks of the trade and how we strategized. Hi, I'm Dr. Josie with Write Your Acceptance. With hundreds of students in college or graduates by now, a few at USC right right now, I know how to make them remember you. And now it's your turn. Step one, pick one of these three 250 word essays and I'll break down each one. So prompt one. USC believes that one learns best when interacting with people of different backgrounds, experiences, and perspectives. Tell us about a time you were exposed to a new idea or when your beliefs were changed by another point of view. So if you're going to say you learned something, you want to make sure that your lesson is larger or grander than your prejudice or initial discrimination. So you want to make sure that the cost-benefit analysis of what you are disclosing as a prejudice or kind of an obstacle that you, um, that you had that you learned and that that lesson was bigger. So, um, and it could be something very small to something very large. For example, I've had students um, talk about how, because they're dual language learners um, and they are kind of second generation immigrants, that uh, they assumed all older people only spoke Spanish or French or Portuguese. And so that that was a prejudice and that they kind of learned about diversity and connecting with people from various demographics. Um, so it doesn't have to be this like very big, um, you know, confessional type experience. It could just be something that you thought that was wrong or that kind of shifted in paradigm for you. So here's option two, the prompt. Describe something outside of your intended academic focus about which you are interested in learning. So are you an engineer who loves drama or, you know, uh, an English major who loves chemistry experiments? So you don't have to major in the intellectual focus that you'll talk about, but you want to make sure that you show breadth in experience and interest, that you are intellectually curious, not just in this kind of narrow tunnel, which is your major and possibly uh, at the end give kind of like a lesson that, you know, drama and theater and the stage or dance uh, affords you a better sense of how you work and how you study as an engineer, let's say. So it's kind of complementary um, in, in an interesting way. Option three is that open freebie. So the prompt. What is something about yourself that is essential to understanding you? And so this is that open topic that is very useful, especially when you want to kind of add or share an aspect of your identity that you haven't yet. So now you want to think strategy. And this really goes for all essays, um, for all candidates. But if you use this essay in particular, this topic, you want to think about it. So do they have already something about your cultural identity? Do they have something quirky or funny or kind of self-deprecating that you don't take yourself too seriously? Do they have information on your community service and leadership? Do they have anything about grit, resilience, and how you overcome obstacles? If they're missing any of those four key pillars, then you wanna make sure that this essay covers that or that any of the other supplements covers that kind of missing dimension. Super important to have this kind of well-rounded candidacy showcased in your essays. So step two, this is now their Why Us essay, which is about 250 words. And the prompt is exactly, describe how you plan to pursue your academic interests at USC. Please feel free to address your first and second choice majors. So this Why Us essay, and I'm linking my How to Research Your Why Us supplements above. Um, so you wanna make sure that you get really into the research very quickly, because you don't have a lot of space. Make sure you add something kind of personal, a personal connection with such heavy branded type universities like USC, NYU, Michigan. You wanna make sure that you kind of give a personal connection to the university beyond brand name, right? So. A couple sentences very quickly about you, maybe an AP class or a chemistry uh, example experiment that you're doing right now and connect that to a class and then go into the research. And I'm linking that above so that you can kind of get into all the good stuff. I also have for you to, um, to check out my YS template in the description below. Step three is kind of hashtag brevity. So they wanna be hip, cool with it and okay, fine, I'll take it. So they start asking you very kind of, start peppering you with very short questions and adjectives. So the first thing is describe yourself in three words. So get very creative. You can uh, do them in a different language. They can ask a question if you read them together. So don't just kind of do compassionate, 
uh, caring and uh, resilient. Um, kind of give something that twist that shows a little bit more about who you are on a meta narrative level. Are you stuck on your USC supplements? Comment below, I'd love to help. Last up are your tweets. And so um, I always think about the movie Moana. Are you too grown for that? Are you just kind of over it? I get it. But there is a scene where the demigod Maui is kind of grabbing Hey Hey, the, the bird, and he signs the, the oar with his beak. And he says, you know, when you sign with a bird beak, that's called tweeting. So that's exactly what you want to accomplish in these um, hashtags, in these um, kind of brief little snippets. You want to do wordplay. You want to be fun. You want to be engaging and thoughtful, but then you want to add a level of creativity that um, showcases a sense of who you are in a creative, fun, engaging way. So these are the questions and they are a hundred character limit. What is your favorite snack? Favorite um, app or website binge watching Black Mirror while my sister dances in front of the screen really relaxing. That could be a great kind of line. That's 92 characters, let's say. Best movie of all time, another example. From tear jerkers to belly laughs, I get it all from add your movie. That's about 71 characters. Then you have hashtag to describe yourself, dream job, what is a theme song, dream trip, what TV show will you binge watch next? Um, they don't have to be these super intellectual, serious moments, but you want to showcase kind of a fun and engaging um, sense of imagistic language. So you want to kind of close your eyes and see something in an image. Um, place you're most content. It could be location, but it could be past, present, or future. Uh, which well-known person or fictional character would be your ideal roommate? Favorite book? And if you could teach a class on any topic, what would it be? This is a great kind of let me slip in my identity um, so that you can kind of add a dimension there. So you can teach something on pop culture of your home country or of kind of a sport or an activity that you're involved in. If you want to learn more about what your essay is missing, how to strengthen it, want to grab my Why Us template, all that is in the description below. And if you like this video, you found it helpful, please give us a like, comment helpful, comment hi, USC, Trojans, anything below, and, and comment any kind of uh, brainstorming ideas you have with the supplements, I'd love to help you out. Um, thanks for watching and please, please share with your college-bound friends. I'll see you soon, bye.